explore new location diner. Hey, hey, hey! I want to go back to. I want to go back and fix this diner. Did they just blow up? I think they just exploded. We got cars. <laughs> we got cars exploding everywhere. Hey everybody, welcome back to Drive for Survival. We have got a brand new update to cover today. And this is where I left off my last episode. So I'm going to show you a couple things that they have added. We've added some new guns. Let's see if they changed our pistol look. Okay, let's go. It's not even showing this being equipped. Alright, let's see if they change the look of it. Now that looks pretty much the same as what it did look like. As you can see, now they have stats on the left for all of our guns. So the M1911, we, it shows our damage, accuracy, rate of fire, handling, handgun ammo. That's how many it holds. The clip holds eight. Here is our shotgun. And it holds seven shells. Of course, the accuracy is not as good, but it does more damage. So all the new weapons now are going to have these stats. So that's very cool. Let's take a look at... Let's go here and see. Some of the, some weapons, some of the new weapons can be bought at the store. Some cannot. So this guy is selling the M1911. He sells the carbine, the 1022. I think we have one of those in our inventory or our bank. Uh, the M133. So the accuracy on this is seven. The accuracy on the on the M133. Oh, that's a shotgun. Okay. This is one of the new weapons that add the AK-47. So the accuracy is, it's all, it's all just 5, 5, and 5. Okay, I want to buy that sucker. It cost 1440 and I've got $3,300. I want to buy it. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it looks nice. Okay. But now i got to buy some ammo. I've got $1,899 left. Let's see. Handgun ammo, rifle ammo, assault rifle ammo. <clears throat> Alright, so how many rounds did I buy there? Only three rounds? No, 30 rounds. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to try that out. Uh, you can see my guy is clearing his throat, so we're thirsty. Let's go ahead. We got a little bit of water on us. Okay, that gave us about halfway. Okay, let me show you some of the other things they've added. Well, they have healers now in the game, which is this young lady right here, but she needs meds in order to heal us. So, to. I read in the patch, read all this in the patch notes. To get her to heal us, we have to provide one cloth to her. And I've got 33 cloth, so. She could heal us if she had the meds. So the way they're doing these outposts now is you have to have to provide materials for them, sort of like a, sort of like a supply line they need to get to have going for for materials. So if we take a look at our map, we are right here at this, this desert junkyard, and this tells us tells us that it's been liberated, but they are out of all these materials, food, water, materials. Uh, fuel cost, ammo. Okay, and this this is kind of the same thing up here. Tells what what it costs per day, I guess. So we don't actually have to provide for all that. All we have to do is we have to liberate a something that that can provide a supply chain to them. If that makes any sense at all. This is all new to me too. I'm this is my first time looking at this. So. I think basically what we have to do is liberate some of these places, kill the enemies, and then that will open a supply chain here. Okay, so we can't, until we do that, we can't even use the mailbox here. 
normally these mailboxes are open. Also, uh, the helicopter pad, we can't use the helicopter pad until it's been liberated. So, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Now, we should be able to still go in our garage, which is... I think our garage is across the street. Yeah, like, see there's a helicopter up there, but it's in green, kind of a light green, just like all these people are. That means we, it can't be used. So it's a, it's a quick travel point as soon as we get these areas liberated, they can be used. Alright, so we got, we do have our garage still over there and our vehicle. Here, zombies. Let's try out this. I want to try out this assault rifle. The AK. Okay. One shot to the head. That killed him. A cloth. Alright, so I like that as far as damage goes. Uh oh. Oh, I only had one round? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Amateur headshots. I got four. Okay, I got four stars. Really? I only had one round from an AK? Alright, well that's a little weird. Alright, we're going to have to find some more ammo now. Hey, buddy. We are making a lot of noise. Hi. Gas station cleared. Okay. So, does that mean... Okay, so that should mean... Hey, there's, tank. there's gas in that. Let's go ahead and grab the gas while we're here. Or is that something I want to drive? Can I drive this? Deliver this car to any liberated outpost. Okay, I'm going to leave the gas in there for now. So, let's look at our map again. I thought that would mean that, that fuel... That fuel could be delivered there now. Alright, we'll get this figured out. What's this question mark? Stripes, the force zone. Claim this resources place. Oh, okay. So we have to, once we get it liberated, okay, we have to claim it with our stripes. Uh, it looks like it takes 15. Does it tell me how many stripes I have? Yeah, I've got 49 stripes. Okay. So this takes 15. Hold F to build. Provides a supply of daily resources for outpost fuel supply. Okay, so now we got a check mark there. Now let's look at our map again. Fuel supply occupied, everything works okay. Okay, that didn't change anything over here and didn't change anything up change anything up here either. Okay, interesting. All right, so we got this cleared out, though. I see raiders over there shooting. All right, let's get dark. Let's go back and sleep, and then we'll figure out another place we can liberate tomorrow. I think I want to go back to the forest. I don't like this desert as well. Let's see what I got in here. Res unsafe water. I need to refill my water bottle. So I have a working mailbox in here, but I'm going to leave those for now. Let's see what I got in this. Fresh water. Okay, I need fresh water. So let's pick this up. Okay, so that's all I got. 
all I had in there was 40% percent. All right, cool. All right, uh, let's go sleep, and then we will. What I think I want to do is. I want to head back to the forest zone, and we'll we'll do some work there. I should be able to just get on this road and head back. The only thing it's showing on, on our quest is where we're supposed to build a house. And I don't have the materials yet for that. <sighs> Maybe we'll look at it. Alright, so let's go ahead and sleep. Alright, 6 a.m. Alright, guys, thirsty. Alright, I probably don't need to be carrying all these water bottles around. There's our bank. Yeah, I do have the... Do the 1022 carbine. It's accurate, but it's really slow to load. Now this one, okay, this one holds five rounds. The old one used to only hold three. What's it say about our crossbow? Very accurate. Slow rate of fire. Okay, we need that already. It's a crossbow. Let's see if we can repair this. Can. All right, let's run over here and see if we can buy some ammo. Then we'll head out. So I believe we have to find smaller areas around the map. Liberate those. What's this say? This is the same thing as it's on our map. Okay. All right, let me find my ammo guy. Assault rifle ammo. Stack is 3,600. If I just buy... Is that literally just three rounds? It is. That seems like a lot. So we only, we only have 11 rounds for this thing. Alright, how much is shotgun ammo? I think I'm going to put this AK in the bank for now. Until we get some more money to buy ammo. Yeah, let's put that in the bank. So we can't fly back to the forest zone, which I want to do. So we're just going to drive. How we doing on gas? We have got gas on us. Actually, let me see if I got gas back here. I don't. Let's see if we can steal any gas. None of those cars have gas in them. Let's get some gas from the pump here. Get gas. Very good. All right, let's put our, we'll put our gas in here. Let's go get some more gas. I don't want to run out of gas. There you go. Put E to put it away. Alright. Alright, let's head out. And we're going to head back to the forest. Clark car is really slow. Uh oh, here she comes trouble. Yeah, this car is really slow. And I just ran out of gas. <clears throat> I don't know if those are bad guys or good guys over there. But we're gonna find out. We gotta get our gas can. Oh, 
Look at our wobbly tire. I thought we just repaired this vehicle. And that's why it's so slow. Uh oh, more trouble. Boy, they try to run, just run right into you. Explore new location, diner. Hey, hey, hey! I want to go back and I want to go back and fix this diner. Did they just blow up? I think they just exploded. We got car. <laughs> we got cars exploding everywhere. <clears throat> Oh, I need to eat. When he starts making no noises like that, that means it's time to eat. Yeah. Alright, we got zombies here. Hello. Alright, so we're going to liberate this place. And then maybe this will be food, the supply line for food, maybe? Hello? Uh, Granny looks... She looks a little rough. Okay, diner cleared. Now, what does this mean? Okay, we have to we have to build it, and we get a check mark. Oh yeah, it's only five percent. Let's take the truck. Alright, no gas in that. Beautiful. Alright, I got everything out of this. Yep. Yeah, I want to get back over here to the forest zone. I like it. We could go south for the other for the uh, house thing but I I want to I want to do some work in the, the four zone. All right, let's see here. Let's do that. All right, we got a farm truck now. But it was in better shape than the than our car was. We can already drive faster. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, we're gonna turn left to the gas station. Hey! Bad boys! Okay, we're back in the forest zone now. So now I'm just looking for some other people, or other places, to liberate. Grocery. Alright, but first we need to... We need to get back to our, our home and sleep. I don't want to go on this bridge. Alright, I'm going to take out these bandits. that about? Oh, they're tearing up my truck. Was that a bandit or just a not very smart person? 
<laughs> I just blew up the car. Oh, it's over there. Okay, those are bandits, I know. Hole for scrap. I don't know if that was a bandit or just a really bad driver. But I blew up his car. Crazy. Uh oh. Hey. Ah, oh, man, those. These wolves. Way too much fun. I uh, wait way over OP. It's ridiculous. All right, I got another get another bandage now. All right, so I was going to. I want to liberate this diner. Got some more stars. Oh gosh, scared! Oh gosh, scared me. Sorry, guys. Where'd they come from? I mean, they came out of nowhere. Desert Eagle. What's Desert Eagle? What can I drop? Uh, I'm gonna scrap this. I want this Desert Eagle. Hey! Can't carry that other desert eagle. Where's it at? Desert eagle. There it is. Let's see what it looks like. I got another one here that I would like. I can't carry. I need. Can I open more? Um, oh, I can. Shift plus right. Okay, now I can open. I got more slots. I want this other desert eagle. I might sell it. Crazy. Okay, I still haven't liberated this. Now I have. This seemed like it had a lot of firepower. Let's take a look at it. The Desert Eagle. Damage, not, yeah. Damage is 9.1. So this has the most damage. I'll sell this other one. Alright, so now we gotta do our stripes. There we go. Okay, so now this will show up on our map. We got a little check mark. Occupied, everything works okay. So that says food supply. So it should be a food supply to this outpost. I think that's the way it's supposed to work. Alright, so now. We got a lot of ammo for this, don't we? It's Desert Eagle. Oh, it takes any regular handgun. Okay, I like this gun. This has become my new favorite gun, I think. It's got a lot of firepower. I don't think these guys have anything we need. Water. I've got 24% of water. Okay, he's got weapons. What's this guy got? He's got weapons as well. So, I don't know if this is just a traveling thing or they're permanently here. Still out of the back of the van. Alright, so now we don't have a vehicle. How far away? Yeah, there's our watchtower. Okay, so now the daily food is okay. 
according to this up here. So we have a food chain going. Now we need water, water and materials. So this can be occupied here, and that would give us maybe fuel. No, no, no. I'm still trying to figure that out. Let's grab a truck. It's got gas. Yeah, there's the road I was trying to get to. But I'm going the wrong way. So it's kind of cool, you can just pick up vehicles, you know. If you lose one, you can pick up, grab another one. Okay, so there's another traveling... Just traveling salesman. Now what's this guy doing? He's not a bandit. He's just driving crazy. I guess these are just other survivors that are just randomly driving nuts. So that's kind of, I think that's been added. I don't remember that in the game. Alright, this should take us back. Now those are bad guys, I know. Hey! Yeah, they, oh gosh. There's just crazy people driving around. Oh yeah. Took those guys out. It hurt me though. I think there's a road that goes to our watchtower. Yep, right here. I remember this now. There's our little garage. I don't know if I want to keep this truck or not. We need a bandage. We don't have any bandages. That's not good. If I have any in the bank. I do not. Store that though. Alright guys, I made it back home. So, I just wanted to show you guys the new weapons in the game. They're pretty cool. I like them. It's a nice addition. And... I think I'm gonna like what they did with the... You know, with these outposts. They made it a little more... Um, kind of like questing, you know, we need, to, we need to liberate these places so they can get a supply chain going. So I think I like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Alright guys, well hey, if you like this episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of this game, please let me know down in the comments section. Um, I wanted to show you this new update, but I'm not sure how much more of this game you guys want to see. So let me know down in the comments section if you want to see more of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join me for more episodes of Drive for Survival. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.